Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Noodle here, and we're back. Back again, back in Alan Wake. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, uh, about that. Uh, we died here at this spot last time, and so uh, we are desperately going to try to get through this. I thought that was liquid darkness. What the hell? Alright, so we got five bastard cult poltergeists. What else is haunted here? Fuck you, son of a bitch. off the bridge. We don't have to worry about it no more. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we can't get anywhere close to that thing. <sighs> I think it's so cheap that it starts you off way in the fucking beginning. Yeah, come on, Alan, catch your breath. Come on. Let the recharge let the battery recharge a little bit.
<laughs> oh my god, that took forever. Forever! I told you, man, inanimate objects and birds. See, birds aren't that bad. They're just really annoying, but inanimate objects kill me. Oh shit. Let's go, let's go. Take for damn ever. I don't see anything in here. It's another car. There's a barn over there. Yeah, there's a power company truck. Let's go. Purple's your first village thingy. I got another Nova. I don't see anything. There's no getting through that. All right. Lots of liquid darkness on the ground. There's not more like just inanimate objects. Come on, Alan! What the fuck? Ah! All right, fuck it. There's a light on the other end of the tunnel. I'm just gonna make it through the tunnel. 
without using all of my fucking flashbangs. Excuse me. Rawr. Yeah, modern camping is like we got it. Manuscript page. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Damn it. So I forgot I set my alarm, so I'm assuming it's been about 15 minutes. Uh so we're just going to have 10 more minutes left. Uh, and then if this turns out to be a super long episode, then so be it. Oh man, this truck doesn't sound too good. Way. Sale fifty percent off. Sale fifty percent off. Flipping sweet. Fuck yeah. There's a way I can get in. What? What does that say? All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. Before you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Warning, junk piles may shift hazardous area. Okay, we're in the junkyard. Awesome. Uh, Alan, I need you to go in the building, please. Thank you. I thought I was still having my pistol out. <laughs> I was like, why is it shooting so slow? Coffee. <laughs> all right, so coffee. I uh, got some more batteries, which is great. I uh, don't need all of them, though. Um, and then let's go ahead and head up. Oh, God. Yes, more flashbangs. Great. Flare gun. Awesome. Doesn't appear to be any kind of manuscript pages, though. Oh, god damn it. What a waste. 
That was my rifle. I'd appreciate it if there wasn't so much fucking lag. Okay, so what did the switch do? I'm not too sure. Did it open like a gate or something? Oh, it did open the gate. Smile, you're on camera. All right, let's go ahead and take this. Ooh, look at that. I didn't even notice this. Hello, shack. Nothing inside. All right, fuck it. Let's go. I should really kept the power truck, but... Uh, oh, is that a flare? No, it's just orange on the ground. Shit. I'm assuming I have to go over down over here. It's over here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, up. Oh. What am I doing with this crane? Or this, uh, I guess it is a crane. Pressing the wrong button. So good at this. No, don't switch to my fucking flare gun. That does hurt you, son of a bitch. Woo. Fuck yeah. God. Ooh. Ooh. Anything back here? Anything? Mm. Whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing is what I like. Yep, whole lot of nothing. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Jump into the Bright Falls truck. Getting out of the goddamn junkyard. Ugh. Narrow roads. Looks like there's a mine over there. Oh, God. Driving is so hard in this game, too. It's not easy at all. Looks like this is a burned down wreck. 
No, 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 no. God damn it. Here, let's move the truck out the fucking way, Alan. Jesus Christ. Move. Stop. The auto camera angles. What? Why are we doing that? We have, like, a ton of fucking revolver ammo. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Hmm. Get that exercise on Alan. There you go. And there we go. Time's up. Oh my god. Alright, so we, we fought our way down the road. We went ahead and got out of the junkyard. Actually, pretty scot-free, actually. And now we're in some old mining town, I guess. So, um, and when we come back, we're going to throw ahead and hopefully get to Cauldron Lake. And, uh, and yeah, and then we'll see where we go from there. So thank you everybody for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace out, everybody.